Hi everyone. So my setup is a little different today. Um, I am kind of running out of places to sit in my apartment and also I had to film this in the morning even though there's challenges with the light um, because I don't have any more lamps because my husband and I are moving to Sweden. So that's why it says that this is my last trunk in this video. Uh, I'm really excited about moving to Sweden. Um, I am not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, hopefully it means that I can concentrate on making videos. Um, but anyway, you're not here for that. You're here for a trunk. So here it is. And I'm going to cut into it. I haven't opened it. I've actually had it on my floor for a couple of days because I was trying to figure out how to film this um, with no lamps and no, not many places to sit. Um, so here we go. Opening it. All right, and opening it. Okay, so this is entirely a Madewell trunk. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera off and unwrap everything and I'll be back. Okay, so there's actually two bundles, so I only unwrapped one um, and I'll do the next one after this. Um, so I asked for a lot of Madewell items, so she just made it a Madewell trunk. Uh, and I'm really excited to see everything. Um, one thing I asked for were the Road Tripper jeans. These are black jeans. They're supposed to be really good. Um, and I kind of need a new pair of black jeans because mine are fading. Um, these are like nice and stretchy. Um, and they're skinny cut, as you can see. Um, so that'll be good to try on. That's, I think, the most boring item in the trunk. And then um, the other stuff is kind of neat. So this is a black t-shirt, but it has the detail on the sides of ties. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the camera because of the lighting, um, but there, and it'll probably be easier to see on me anyway, but there are two ties on the side, and I think I have this same shirt in the trunk in red as well, which I think is slightly more interesting. Um, but I'll try the black one on as well. This is another t-shirt like the one that I had from another trunk. Um, it's stripey. It's a little bit of a different color. Um, I really like it. I'm uh, probably going to keep that, um, to be honest. Um, then I have a dress. Oh, and it has paper in it. Um, I'm not... Uh, I The... Color is picking up a lot pinker on camera, but it's kind of a dusty, um, like faded pink that I don't really love. Um, but I'll try it on and see. Um, it's a long, I think it's a midi length. I'm not sure it's a full maxi. Um, so, and it has flowers all over it. So that's interesting. This is a dress that I think I might wear to my goodbye party if it, if it works. Um, it has eyelet details on the bottom. This is the skirt. It has eyelet details. It's v-necked and then it has a bell sleeve with more eye eyelet details and it's kind of, I think it's an orange. It's really pretty. So excited about that. And then this is one of the items that I asked her to send me specifically. Um, so it's a stripy uh, it's not seersuckler, it's like a denim feel type dress. It has a crop and a little um, peekaboo for your stomach. It's high-waisted. It has buttons all down the skirt. Um, and then it has kind of a puffy sleeve. So I'm really excited to try this on because I think I've been eyeing it on, on some people's Instagrams and um, it keeps popping up in the ads on my computer. So I am um, really Looking forward to seeing how it looks on. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap the next bundle and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, this is the next bundle. Um, here's another stripy t-shirt, um, different color way again. Um, I really like these t-shirts and they, uh, I find they're better than the ones that Madewell does with the pocket because the pocket always rips in the same spot. So, um, very excited to try this on because I think my t-shirt collection is going to get nice and big um, and that's good going into summer. Um, then we just have a plain white tee which I'm not as thrilled about. I think it's kind of see-through 
um, but I will try it on and see. Um, if it's not see-through, that would be great because I don't have any just plain white tees. Um, then I have an off-white long-sleeved, um, like, I guess it's a tee as well. It's a little bit thicker than t-shirt material and it has a tie detail in the side. Um, the color of this is uh, throwing me off because um, I am really good at spilling things on myself when I'm wearing all white. So uh, I don't know about the two white or off-white um, options, but um, we'll see. Uh, next we have this really cute blouse. Oh, I forgot about this. It has the ruffle details on the sleeves, if you can see that. Um, it doesn't have a collar and it's striped um, red and blue and white. Um, so that is going to be interesting. I haven't really tried very many statement sleeve type pieces and I know that's a big trend um, for the spring and well for the winter too. Um, I just didn't encounter very many of them so I'm interested to see how that looks on. Then I have a long sleeved black tee. It's really basic. Um, probably not going to keep it just because I have something similar and this one looks see-through. However, it is really soft so I might be taking back my words on that. Um, it just looks quite sheer for and it's also, let's see, it's $55 so for a $55 basic tee, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep that but anyway, we'll see. This is a tank. Oh, and I thought it was completely backless but it's not. Um, it has a bow detail in the back. Um, this doesn't really look like it's going to be conducive to me wearing a bra with it, um, a normal bra with it, because of the bow tee detail in the back. So I'm a little bit um, prejudiced against it. It's also kind of sheer holding it up to the light. So we'll see about that. Here's another option for my goodbye party. Um, it is a jumpsuit, which I'm excited about. It is black and white striped and it has pants and then I'll just show you the top which is similar to the one that I, to the dress that I showed you with a cutout um, right here and then it has roughly roughly straps um, so it's really cute and that's definitely an option and then finally I have this shirt which is the same as the black shirt I just showed you except it has, and it has ties um, on the sides, which is a nice little detail. So I'm gonna go start trying stuff on and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I decided to try the black tops on first while I have contrasting jeans because the jeans she sent me in the trunk are black and I thought it wouldn't pick up as well on camera. So this um, top has a little bit of a bell sleeve and it's a little bit more cropped than I like my long sleeve shirts to be, although I could wear something underneath it to lengthen it a little bit. Um, but I feel like if I, if I eat too big of a lunch and then stretch, I'm gonna show my belly. Um, it is really soft and I do like it a lot. I like how it looks on me, but at $55, I just feel like for a basic like this, it's just too expensive. Here's the other black tee. Um, it has the ties on the side, which I think you can see a little bit better now on both sides. And it has kind of a knobby material. I thought it was a blended with linen or something because it feels really nice and airy. Um, but it's actually 100% cotton. Um, I like it a lot. I think I like the red one a little bit better. And I'm not 100% sure on the price on this. So we'll have to see um, what I end up keeping and stuff like that. But this is definitely in consideration. So these are the jeans. Um, they're nice and high-waisted and they come up uh, a good way on the back side as well. Um, they're super skinny, uh, but they don't feel like they're choking my ankles. Um, and I just discovered that my skinny black jeans have a hole in one of the legs. So I think I'm gonna use these to replace them. Um, and then this t-shirt is I think a little see-through, but I really like the cut of it, and my husband said he liked it, so I'm considering it depending on how much it is. Um, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. It is a really good fit on me, so that kind of sways it. Um, if it's $55, though, I'm definitely not keeping it. <laughs> this is the long-sleeved off-white shirt. As you can see, it has a tie on the side. I'm not sure that I did the best tie for it. 
Um, it's, it's just a little too short for me. Again, I feel like if I had a big meal and lifted my uh, arms up, I, I mean, you can see my belly already. So, um, and also it's a little bit of a too heavy weight for the summer, going into the summer months, which is okay because I am going to somewhere that's gonna be colder than where I live now, but I think this is a little bit overkill. So this is a pass for me. Okay, so here is the navy and white stripe t-shirt that I pulled out of my trunk. Again, I really like the cut. Um, I think it's gonna be useful for summer months um, and easy to layer, which is good. Um, and I also, I didn't talk about this in the other one, but the, the back goes down slightly, just slightly um, lower than the front. And so it covers your bum a little bit more, which I like. Um, but it would also look good if you just tucked it in a little bit, I think. I'm not sure how that looks because I'm not wearing my glasses. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with all the t-shirts in this trunk. Here's another t-shirt. Uh, it has a 70s vibe. I'll just come up closer. It has orange and um, blue stripes. It's, it's got the same kind of vibe as one of the t-shirts that I got in uh, an earlier trunk. Um, again, cut is great and I really like the look of it. So I think this is a keeper. So I think this is the long sleeved um, button down with the statement sleeve. It has a ruffle on the sleeve. My husband just called it a puffy shirt like in Seinfeld. So I think that's a no from him. Um, also, it, if I move my arms even slightly, it starts to gape at the chest, which is just a problem that big busted people have with button down shirts. So I think I'm going to pass on this one. Here is the bow back tank top. I think it's just a little bit too tight across the chest. This is the detail in the back, and as you can see, it's a little bit higher than my bra, so I wouldn't be able to wear my normal bra with it like I suspected. Um, and also, I just don't feel comfortable in it, so this is a no. So this is the last top. This is the red version of the black one that I showed you with the ties on the side. Um, I really like it. Um, I think it's a little bit pricier than the other t-shirts, so I have to figure out what I'm spending. Um, and see, but I think this would be a great shirt for the summer. Um, have a pair of linen pants or even with these jeans. Um, and I think that would look really nice. So I'm gonna have to do some calculations. <laughs> so we're on to the dresses. Um, I absolutely love this. It's got the eyelet details on the sleeves and on the skirt, uh, but it feels really tight in the bust. And if I move my arms like this, it just doesn't work. Problem of being a big chested lady, um, unfortunately. Um, the color is super flattering, um, and I think if I sized up, everywhere else would be way too big. So I think this is going back. So here is that pink dress. Um, not the most flattering on me, I'm gonna say. Um, it looks a bit like a sack, and not in a good way. Um, it has a slit in the front, which is kind of cool. Um, it's lacking pockets, which I think would be useful on a big billowy dress like this. Um, and it has a hook and eye detail, so you can wear it done up as well as open. But as you can see, um, my bra straps are showing, which I really don't like to show bra straps. So this is going to be a mega no from me. So here is the jumpsuit. I love the fabric of it. It's stripy with red flowers all over it. However, um, this top, uh, I tried it without a bra, and that's not for YouTube viewing. So I put my bra back on. <laughs> um, it just doesn't work for my chest area. Um, the, it is really cute though, so I'm, I'm kind of sad. Um, the other thing about it is that it's not very flattering through my waist area, and I could wear um, control top underwear, but given how hard it is to pee in a jumpsuit as it is, I don't want to add shapewear to it, so I don't think I'm gonna fool around with this one and it's going back. So this is the final dress that I was really excited about. But as you can see, um, it's way too high cut at the top. I thought it was like a little lower cut and the cutout was a little bit smaller. Um, I mean, I think it looks cute on, but I don't know if it's because I have such a big chest or if it's just cut funny, um, but there's no way that I'm not gonna wear a bra with this and there's no bra that I have that would hide this part of it. So it's gonna be a no. Um, also, I feel like the sleeves are a funny length, um, so Unfortunately, this one's going back as well. Okay, so here I am back with my final thoughts. I'm gonna have to do some number crunching because I think 
uh, if I get everything I want, it's going to be a little bit over my budget. But I'm thinking about keeping the Road Tripper jeans and then these four t-shirts. Um, and then the rest is going back. Um, all of the links to the items if you like something and uh, prices will be in the description box below. So check that out. And hopefully next time I see you, I'll be in Sweden. I might do a packing video before that. I'm not sure yet. Um, it all depends on how much time I have uh, before we move. So see you next time.